Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some control. Picking up where we left off, we are continuing on the main quest line. And uh, I need to find my way to. Oops. Through the ashtray maze over to dimensional research or whatever it's called. And I need to relearn all my controls because I did not, or because I recorded oh, Fallout instead of uh, instead of this this week or during the week. So I am once again like. So clearly they were actually defending this place. I need to turn down my headphones for a second here. It's awfully loud. Alright, truce of pattern I don't think is any use to me. Astral blip I do believe is though. I don't remember exactly what I need it for, but I'm reasonably certain that I need it for something. All right, into dimensional research and into the ashtray maze, and hopefully this time I'll be able to get through it. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something that I need in order to get through it, but at the same time, it's just leading me there. So, like, we've already been here and we're unable to do anything. But maybe. Bro, contact the janitor if you need to get through. Oh, okay. Broken. How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. Alright, well, that's... Fucking dumb. Uh, ventilation, right? What's the... Because I know that Ati... Is, uh... Sends us to the quarry at some point as well, I'm sure. Because um, there's that one control point in there that we couldn't get to because it uh, the door was locked. But that's because we need to wait for Ati here to send us there. There's no Ati. Where is he? Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tähti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Guess I'm about to find out. So, Adi went on a holiday? This way. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. No. No more shots for you. Okay, well, you do get more shots. Not at me. All right. Whatever. I mean, I can. Get through here well enough. Now, can I go through this way? No. Okay. I mean, there's so many of these doors. 
but I feel like my levitate isn't going to make it to like like to those ones. Although they are fairly close. Oh, but that's the way I need to go anyway, because I can see that it's glowing. I do like that you can start and stop the, the, the slow fall. That is very nice. There's some games where, uh, similar to going up in this one, once you let go, you can't reapply it, and that's really shitty. Because uh, sometimes you hit it just a little bit too early, and then you're stuck with like a super long fall. Uh, the furnace. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating in? Who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little, I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. Oh, wait a minute. What other things do I got in here? Uh, oh, that's just... The sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kosu is on is in ice. I don't know what a kusu, kosu, whatever the fuck it, that word is. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like a kind of drink or what. But hey, we got another control point. Uh, whoops. Oh, that's that pathway that I was trying to get to before. Uh, I see we got some more muck all over the place. Oh, because we're here. Hey, it's this one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you need to stop. Oh, what? The fuck did you come from? Oh, forgot that I had the grenade launcher on. Oh, what the fuck? Stop fucking being like, are you spawning underneath me or something? How is this doing, like, no fucking damage? See, like, I don't get how it wasn't doing any damage before. These things suck. Those things, like, I mean, the rocket launchers that can spawn behind you and fucking almost take out your entire health bar suck, especially since they have homing rockets. These fuckers that fire triple shots, each of which does probably, a, like, almost as much as a rocket does, and also heat seeks you, I mean... It's ridiculous. Like, look at how little health I have. And the only way I can recharge it is to get into more fights. Yeah. I was having an argument with somebody uh, about this game. It was, uh, and about the combat and that. Well then. 
länsiosa, pohjois itämeri Okei. Okay. It's just, I guess, turn them all on. They're not playing music this time, they're talking. Okay, and I mean, that could be Auntie talking. Okay, let's tune these ones in. Oh, there we go. That sounded like it opens up. The ladder outside. Okay, did that. Okay, it did get rid of the goop monster in this room. All right. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Wait, did I not get the key? What did I pick up off the desk then? It wasn't a collectible. Okay, what? It just happened. No, those ones are all right. Yeah, those two are right. There wasn't another one in there. Oh, I see there's a radio there too. Uh. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, there's a janitor too. Did not notice that before. Oh, this looks like it might be that spot in the quarry. It is. Floaty guys out there, but doesn't mean a whole lot considering where we are. Uh, a response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Redacted Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved a L63. That would make sense. The Bureau discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Redacted Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent redacted accompanied a squad of ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. Okay, you want to tell us what it was? Is it a silver bullet? Are you, like, are they hostile to me out there somehow and trying to attack me? That's not going to work while I'm in here, buddy. Oh, are we finally going to get to go through that door? Looks like it. Cool. I don't know what is... Oh! There's... Oh! There's something over there! Oh! I see! They're trying to kill the rock monster. That's probably why that... Why the detection meter is coming up. Because it's not that they're detecting me, it's just that they're currently in combat. That makes sense. Alright. Hey, look at that, we finally made it through this big door. I mean, this was, along with the ashtray maze, this was the only other location on any of my maps that still had question marks to it. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
Now, I thought this was going to lead to the city, but I guess they said that nobody's ever been to the city, and they clearly had this door installed at some point, so... I, I mean, hopefully we get a view of the city, because we still haven't seen it. But the game won't let us go up that high, so... And all it says there is restricted area. Even I don't see his visions anywhere either. Well, let's check out the really bright room first. I feel like I'm... hello. Uh, upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, redacted. Along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates and accelerated physical redacted from redacted rendered field agent redacted and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble they found Al-63 at the origin of the redacted, attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set out, which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident and no fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians and thus no reinforming by the communications department was required. I mean, even if nobody saw it collapse, they would still notice that it collapsed at some point, right? Okay, so... I'm assuming then that when I hit that button, it's going to uh, start a lift to get me across this big gap. So we'll take a quick peek to see if there's any other things. So it's an altered item that only work during the moon and it attracted and repelled items so that makes sense so it's like a tidal weapon a tidal item i guess although i guess it would make more sense if it was uh Grab you just to oof. Ow! Fuck you. Come in, dude. I shot my guy's shield there a little bit. Oh, somebody died. Oh, oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, why? That did a lot. Oh, my big guy's almost dead. Hell, why is it glowing like that? Oof, well, dude, you threw an explosive at me. Not cool, bro. Get a lot of items, though, so that's good. I'm assuming that my ride is gonna be here now. Yeah. Alright, buddy, sorry, but yeah. Well, I was coming over there to kill him, but I guess he just died anyway. We just as I put in his time for me. Alright. Eh. 
and I can't shut off the music, unfortunately. So hopefully that doesn't get me copyrighted. But Uh, the benefits of not relying on YouTube for an income. It's very nice to not care if you get a copyright. I'm alive. Uh, I feel like that one curved, like the first one. Doesn't like. No, I don't know. The effects still are over there, though, which is interesting. Let's see anybody here? Oh, I see. That's cool. All three at once. Ah. I guess that makes sense. It is called the charge. I mean, where the fuck are we going? Why is this lift so slow? Oh boy. Ugh. Oh look, there's another button in case the lift isn't on this side. God, I hope I don't need to wait for it to come all the way back. It's a slow ass lift. Okay, that was a little scary there because I don't think I was able to love it. There's something that up ahead. Is and, it? uh,. Like when I jumped off the thing, I don't think I was able to levitate. So if I had tried to do that like a little bit sooner, I think I would have died. Excerpt from Altered Speech of Al-14. Okay, the results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. Al-14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we discover that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric text from, text from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward, and to think there are, there are still more words to be found. So that's how they learned all their formulas for containing these things. Oh, look at that. Going to the forest. Ocean. Holidays. Holy. Adi? Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your sock? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Okay. Did that really just happen? Sure seems Danny like it. Give me his cassette player. Get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. Yep. Got more of these. What was I even upgrading? I don't. I'll write it. I was just upgrading like the throw stuff because why not? Uh oh yeah, I did get the one. You a jukebox token? What do you do? Kill enemies and expeditions. All right, I guess that is open of course. Uh, no, not got the executive. Don't care about spin. No. Sure. Because I come across snipers. Oh, actually, why not? 
let's see. Hey, I can upgrade my Pierce weapon. Boom. No more weapon forms available. Can I upgrade this? No, I still need shifting fragments, which I've never got. That could be a... Um, that could be from the DLC, though. Alright, well, still haven't been going for that long, so let's head into the Asteroid Maze. There's no way that this is going to be the end. Well, I guess it might be the end of the game, I don't know. Yeah. Just want to do a quick check. Control main story mission list. Uh, welcome to the little toast. Finish Tango, we just did. We're on Polaris. Okay, so we actually only have two more main quests to do. Oh god, really? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna kill that because I don't know if that's gonna get me a copyright or not, so... Unfortunately, we're going to have to go through a relative silence, which is very disturbing, if I'm being honest. Although, hang on, options, audio, yeah, let's just ditch the music volume, right? Try and get my game audio back to where it was, I think that was it. Let's see. Yeah, that worked. Good. Still slightly disturbing. Let's grab him as well. Look at that. We got all, everybody in this hallway now belongs to us. Oh no, somebody knocked the painting off the wall. Oh god, it is. Eerily silent. Go. Oh, I don't think there's any point in recruiting those other dudes because it seems like we're losing them rather quickly. God, how much of this maze are we gonna have to go through? Kind of a pain, is it not? I mean, I get having the maze to make it so that people can't just get to those locations, but at the same time, it's like, if they have the way to make it through, then they have the way to make it through. Like, like do they expect them to just, like, give up or something? Like, it's still eerily quiet without the music. I don't know... I didn't think that there was really all that much for background music before, but... Oh, I see the floors coming up to me. But apparently there was something to, map, to background music, because yeah. Oh, goodbye. Sure, let's just grab him because I don't know why he's so strong. Did you get him? No. There we go. Let's grab him. Man, you don't really notice how quiet the game is entirely. Turn off the music. Is there somebody left? No? Uh, oh, what the hell is that? 
that do something besides put crap all over the floor? Where are we going? Hello? Anybody? Any of you doors want to open for? Hello? Oh, you are apparently one of my buddies. Uh, hello? Any of you doors? Oh, hello. Well, where the hell were you? Oh, hello. Now, supposedly you can take control of these. Oh, you can. feeling that my uh, grenades kind of negated the fact that I took control of the ball. Because, yeah, there was something I was reading where if you are ever in a situation where you get two of those balls, uh, you basically won the fight because if you take control of both of them, they'll heal each other and every other enemy that you control. So if you can get, like, two of them and a big guy, like, you've just officially created, like, an immortal combo. Sorry, buddy, but... You didn't drop anything. That's a shame. And you either. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Uh, like how it was just like, you know what? No. Oh, no for them as well. Well, it's nice of them to be blocking it off like that. I did just waste like all of those on one weak dude. significantly easier than trying to rely on uh, my aim to do it. Go. Right. Wow, that actually worked rather well against him. And up we go. I mean, so we don't have to fight that big guy then? That's interesting. It's also interesting that that room is there. That was awesome. All right. Oh, I'm assuming that what she did at the end there was her taking the headphones off, I guess. Okay, let's put some more music on here, because while I... Well, still rather quiet game. Alright. I don't know. It's It still felt weird. Uh, no unique procedure. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved on its bottom, an ever-burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows... You utilitarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. This maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. Uh, the object was discovered at Redacted by a team of rangers sent to a care facility for the elderly that had become the center of numerous missing persons reports. Local authorities also disappeared inside after responding to reports. Agent Redacted discovered the object in a Redacted, which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing persons are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. Well, at this point, I'm assuming they're dead in the maze. 
And that's just more music. You have seen the foundation base of the building tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there, everywhere. We have a socket door there. It is a direct link. Okay, so down where we found Ati is where is like a direct link. We used the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before, and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit, reverberating in the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. All right. Well, you know what? I think I'm actually going to call it there. And, because uh, like I said, we've only got this story mission that we're on and one more, which I'm assuming will start immediately after, well, I mean, obviously it'll start immediately after this one ends, but I'm saying I don't think that there's going to be, like, anything to do in between the two. So, we'll end it here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you on Thursday for more.